Hi, my name is Mike Ward. I'm the Global Director of Content for Informa Pharma Intelligence's uh, 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 Insights Portfolio. Uh, we're here in the Biotech Showcase in, in San Francisco. Um, at the start of the year, biotech industry, pharmaceuticals and other stakeholders, investors, they all come here to you know, discuss what's going on in the industry and every now and then somebody actually unveils a, a new idea. Last year, um, I had the pleasure of uh, speaking with uh, Dennis Corrin, the CEO of QBiomed. It was a, a, an activity or a business that had been started six months earlier. Um, so I'm glad you've come back to uh, so tell us what progress you've made. So just to, uh, to remind everybody, QBiomed, what, 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 is, what is its mission? In the sure, thanks, uh, nice to see you again, Mike. Uh, so QBiomed is a biotech accelerator and development company. So essentially what we've done is establish a, a good public uh, entity uh, with access to public capital and public visibility. And then under that umbrella, we're going out to source innovative new uh, biotechnology assets in different therapeutic areas and bring our resources, human capital, money capital, just organizational capital to those assets and help accelerate their development from one point to another. Uh, to help them find value in that asset and together we partner with them and together we hope to accelerate their development and share in the value creation of that of that asset as we advance it through its milestones yeah and so in, in the past 12 months you know how far have you sort of progressed that 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 idea I mean have you done the deals yet? Yeah, so we've had actually a, a, a really great 2016. Uh, when last time we met, we just signed our first uh, asset acquisition deal with Mannon Research, which is a glaucoma drug. So a first in class, uh, early stage molecule that we're looking at for the treatment of glaucoma or intraocular eye pressure. This is one of those typical biomedical deals where it's really early stage, but has that big blue sky potential, you know, glaucoma, 100 million patients by 2020, or 100 million people suffering from the disease. So a really acute need for a new first in class drug. So we're excited to be advancing that through its paces now into molecule optimization and then into IND enabling studies next year. So we're progressing that asset along. Um, and then since the, uh, we met in uh, January, I guess, of last year, we also signed a deal with um, a, a small company in Florida that has an FDA-approved drug uh, for the treatment of metastatic bone cancer pain. Uh, so this is a palliation drug, a radiopharmaceutical. Uh, it's non-narcotic, which is very topical right now. Everybody's you know, trying to find an, altern an alternate to uh, using opiate-based drugs. Um, and this is a very well-established uh, drug method of action. It's the first of its kind generic. Uh, so this is ready approved and uh, ready to bring to market. So uh, we're really excited to have the other end of our pipeline sort of bookended with the early stage, but now also a sort of a revenue ready drug that's ready to go. So, so is the idea to actually have a kind of a balanced portfolio where you'd, you, you would do that? I'm Absolutely, yeah. So that's, you know, our vision or my vision was to, to set up a company with a portfolio from early sort of middle clinical and also revenue or commercial ready assets. So there's always something happening in terms of milestone development. There's always something ticking over for investors and shareholders to be interested in. It's not just a sort of one trick pony or focus on your knitting and march your way through the FDA in over 10 years. Kind of so thing. are there any sort of common characteristics for the kind of assets that you would like to bring into QBiomed? Not necessarily. You know, I, I say we're, we're therapeutically agnostic. Uh, really what we're looking for is something that's undervalued or has been passed over or is sitting on a shelf somewhere that's not necessarily being uh, taken advantage of, that we can bring assets and strategic resources to, not just money, it's clinical experience of a great deep bench of clinical advisors and uh, pharmaceutical executives as part of our advisory team. And we can look at those different assets, pick them apart, decide which ones we like and which ones we want to advance, and then bring our resources to bear on that and, and bring them in-house, license them with an option, and help to grow them and accelerate their development to some value inflection point. It doesn't have to be commercial, it can just be to another phase. So, and, and what, what, what are sort of the constraints that would um, you know, limit how, how much activity you can actually have. Yeah, actually. yeah, so you know, we don't want to bite off too much or too, more than we can chew on, so to speak. Uh, capital is, of course, a, a constraint. So we also want to do this in a very strategic, stepwise fashion. Uh, we have now a revenue ready assets so that will start generating revenue for the, for the entire portfolio, really, which I think de-risks the business model quite substantially. Um, and then we'll look at adding possibly another asset this year in 2017 and kind of grow that out maybe to four or five assets over the next two or three years, one of them being a revenue producer. Some of those assets will have organic growth potential too with other indications out of one molecule, for example. Uh, so that'll kind of grow organically as we go, but we don't want to jump in and, and you know take on too much at one particular time. Okay, so um, you know, so you're, you're at this meeting, 
So uh, uh, are you looking for, for new investors or are you uh, sort of asset searching? A little bit of both. You know, we're, uh, we're always looking for new shareholders. We actually just, uh, we just closed the transaction in, on November 30th for $4 million, which gives us the capital to bring this product to market and to start generating revenue, which is excellent. We can go out and hit our milestones now knowing that we're funded. Uh, we're always looking for innovative new products, both, you know, mostly in the private space and in sort of private meetings, uh, but also some public companies that may be looking, you know, for an exit on, on an asset or something else, but also just to get in front of shareholders and interested stakeholders and let them know our story, that's, that's part of the show here too. Good. Well, well Dennis, thanks for, for stopping by and give, giving us an update on, on See the you market. again next year, I'm sure. See you next year. All right, thanks. Yeah.